Et dans mon cœur et dans mon corps Tout le monde a l'air d'accord pour me dire Que je suis... Hey guys, today we are back in the car per usual and I am actually headed down to Richmond. Um, I am going to a retreat for our first board meeting of the year as president-elect of our state group of dietitians. So um, June is kind of funny because it's kind of a new start over, which is a little bit fun. So actually, through this vlog, I think I'm going to take you with me for kind of the next week. I have basically like all nutrition stuff all the time. Um, for the boards I sit on and kind of the obligations that go along with that. The first two days I am going to be down in Richmond and we're going to be doing our annual board executive board room, um, meeting to kind of figure out what we want to do for the year. But after that I have to come back up to Northern Virginia and immediately actually head into DC for something we call public policy workshop. What I think a lot of people don't know is actually when I did my dietetic internship, which for those of you who aren't in the medical field, it's basically like mini med school for dietitians. My focus was actually public policy, advocacy, and leadership. We will be doing a little bit of work on Capitol Hill, um, doing some behind the scenes work to kind of understand better and um, communicate to other people in the state what's going on and how they can get involved. So it's going to be kind of an intense next week. Um, and actually, I have something really exciting happening Wednesday, which is also my birthday um, that I can't talk about, but hopefully I can share with you guys really soon. I also wanted to show you guys, this is like... <laughs> If you're ever in stop and go traffic, this is seriously like the best trick ever. I click my bags in, um, but I basically just have all my crap for the meeting and also the snacks that I have in the car. Even though it's seriously, this is like not that long of a car ride, I always bring snacks with me. So I have my iced coffee, I have a water bottle, I have apricots, I freaking love apricots. Um, and I picked up some granola from Wegmans just in case the conference food isn't that great. Um, I always have a backup. Yeah, you gotta have snacks. Totally crucial. Et dans mon cœur et dans mon corps, tout le monde a l'air d'accord pour me dire que je suis touché là où jamais je ne me serais aventuré comme un sens. Hey guys, it's been a while since I've filled you in on what's going on, so now that I have a break before I have to be at a 7.15 meeting this morning, I think it's like 6.40 or something. The past few days I've been up at 6, which is totally normal for me anyway, but like having to actually see other people other than like my pets or my husband this early in the morning is like starting to wear on me. So um, like I gotta show you, I went down to Richmond for our annual board retreat meeting. It was an absolutely beautiful location. Um, it was crazy because the facility is like right in the middle of downtown Richmond across from University of Richmond, but there were trees everywhere, lots of walking paths and everything, which was super nice. Um, and because we were in Richmond, they had grits and biscuits for breakfast, so I couldn't really complain that much. Um, so now I'm in D.C. I got to spend one night at home, repack my bags, jump on the train, and then come into the city to stay for the first night of public policy workshop. And I think <sighs> coming away from the first night of workshops and everything like that, it really shows me how much I have to learn and how much depth goes into all of these things that, um, we do for passing a law and legislation and things like that. So excited because tonight I actually have reservations. My husband is going to come into the city and we're going to go to Le Diplomat, which is a French restaurant cafe here in DC that people rave about. And I'm so excited to go to. In the meantime, I have to go downstairs and caffeinate myself before I can talk. Et dans mon cœur et dans mon corps, tout le monde a l'air d'accord pour me dire que je suis touché là où jamais je ne me serais aventuré comme un sens interdit. Si les garçons ne m'ouvrent pas leur cœur, je sens que je vais aller voir ailleurs là où tout. Je sens mon corps se remplir de 